This is the officially licensed FJ40 trail truck from FMS, and it comes with a hard plastic ABS body atop of a tent scale chassis. So it's bigger and it's upgradable, and that's what we plan on doing. Being 10 scale, this thing comes in a big old box and it is officially licensed through Toyota. There are a lot of cool things you can do with the body like the doors opening and the tailgate and it's got a really nice interior. It's probably one of the nicest trail truck bodies that you can buy from a ready to run truck. And I believe it's about $350. Now the cool thing about this being 10 scale is you can put all the other 10 scale upgrades for trail trucks on this truck. We reviewed the Hummer a little while ago from FMS, which is like a 12th scale truck. And a lot of people are unhappy that it was smaller. Even though this thing has tons of functionality, there isn't a whole lot you can do with it optionally. You can't upgrade much. It's an awesome little truck, but you have to really love Hummers to want to get this thing. case some extra parts that is quite a case oh my gosh Let's see transmitters at the bottom of this thing that is a really cool case. So we got a pretty basic little transmitter. It's four channel. It's really lightweight. FMS gives you the range of the model, which is really nice. And I believe it was like 80 meters. We also have some extra bits and pieces. I believe we need to install these onto the body. Of course you get a manual. And then the body. This thing looks so sweet. I don't think those move. So the doors open, the hood opens, everything that opens have these little round stickers on them to keep them closed. And then look at all the padding they put inside the interior. So check this out. Tailgate up, doors flip open. Look at this interior. Those are cool seats. Look at this interior. This is like a rubberized seat. The pedals, our steering wheel, which does move as you turn. This hood op opens up too. This is a 550 size 35 turn motor. The motor is a WP1040 brushed ESC. It's a hobby wing and it works with two and three cell lipos. Looks like we have an XT60 plug on there. And then I'm guessing our battery goes in this tray right here. The steering servo is mounted up here in the chassis. These are the LED wires, so our headlights are wired in. Here's our mini servo. It's just directly connected to that steering wheel, so it turns as you turn. These are 1.9 size tires and wheels. They kind of have like a Hyrax look to them. But I think we should change that. And then our big old roof rack up here, where we could add a bunch of accessories bungee them in there and that's what we plan on doing before we do that let's take a peek underneath super flat skid plate those rear shocks are mounted right onto the c channel steel rails metal links four link front four link back plastic telescoping drive shafts with some metal ends here we should probably add these extra parts to the body these running boards go on with two screws the mirrors go on with two screws there's also a front license plate holder that goes here on the bumper. We didn't put that on. Also, there's these two elbums that go on the body somewhere on the back if you want to put them on. But overall, the body looks dang gorgeous. But we bought some things, including tires and wheels. We're going to make it look even better. And here it is, all done. Now you guys know we have the KMC XD720 Roswell beadlock wheels and that satin finish and they look great. And then those have the RC four wheel drive Mickey, Mickey Thompson Baja Pro X 1.9 scale tires on there. And it's a pretty aggressive lug on that tire and they feel really dang nice and they look well suited in this truck. It's a big tire, 
but this is a big truck. This truck has a 13.3 inch wheelbase, which is an inch longer than SCX 10 or other 10 scale trail truck. Now these tires are sticking out a little bit wider because there are the incision number six wheel hubs behind them. So we can get a little extra width and have those tires stick out from the body. For the other accessories, these are the Yow Racing Red Jerry Cans, and then the straps are the Killer Body tie-down straps, and then we just kind of wrapped them up and used some shoe goo on them. The Jerry Cans look a little small because the truck body is so dang big, but it's not bad. Now opening up the back, got a little fire extinguisher. That's the Yow Racing fire extinguisher, and again, it's just been shoe gooed on the back of the door. You need a fire extinguisher handy. Now there's more scale accessories up top in the roof rack. This is an RC four-wheel drive cooler. These are scale by Chris totes, scale by Chris long rifle rack, and scale by Chris recovery boards. And this is a Yeah Racing shovel. There was no good way to mount the shovel in there, so we just kind of wrapped it up in the netting, and that's a Yeah Racing net. But as it sits now, the body really bobs and moves around a lot, so this is not gonna be good for hardcore crawling out there, but it will look great as a trail truck. So a couple of notes, there's no Velcro strap for the battery, so we added one. And then I heard somebody else mention that the steering throw isn't a hundred percent of what it can be, but there's a steering dual rate. So we can just turn it up to get more steering throw. Yeah, you're gonna wanna do that out of the box. So the truck actually performs better than I thought it would out here and it's not getting hung up much. There's a lot of rocks. You know, the difficulty is really depends on the line you pick. But after going over some of the bigger rocks and seeing that really soft suspension sway the body around, it seems pretty realistic and it's really enjoyable to watch. Oh, we lost 
just a piece. It's our mirror. Thankfully, the mirror is just press fit into this frame, and you can add a little CA, which would be a smart idea, but we did not. So I thought all the body roll would be a hindrance out here, but it actually looks really cool. I think the body roll and how soft the suspension is makes it look more realistic. We added the wider hubs, which definitely improves how it doesn't roll over that easily. The only issues with the truck is that the servo is really slow, although that's not really an issue. It seems strong enough to handle the rocks, and then the hood popped up on us a few times just opening up and unfastening. All the accessories on the top didn't fall out. The jerry cans in the back didn't fall out. Overall, the truck just looks really cool out on the trail with how realistic the body is, how realistic the body sways on that suspension. But definitely a fun truck, and the FJ40 is definitely recommended.